Welcome to the Passing Data Segmentation Quick View. The following video is a short demonstration of the steps involved and also shows the ease of use when processing. The data segmentation process creates reports on cross sections of input data. Reports by numerical sequence, defining number of list segments, obtaining start and end parameters, a defined number of range segments by all record fields, and data subset extracts. Once you've opened the data segmentation application, all processing is performed using the Add-ins tab and menu Passing Data Segmentation. Select option Load List, Range Blocking Datasets from External Files. The Dataset Load Wizard is used to load the dataset into the list blocking and also the range blocking worksheets. Note, if only one dataset is to be input, select the Next button to begin the load. The list blocking dataset input is initiated at step 2, whereas the range blocking dataset input is initiated at step 3 of the dataset load wizard. Select the Next button. Select the Open External File button to load the list blocking dataset from the browser window, or Next to continue. Select a sheet name, in our example List QA Doco. Select OK to continue. A message will be displayed indicating the file has been loaded. Select OK to continue. Select Next to load the range blocking dataset. Select the Open External File button to load the range blocking dataset from the browser window. Select a sheet name, in our example Range Reduced, and select OK to continue. A message will be displayed indicating the file has been loaded. Select OK to continue, select the Next button, and select the Finish button. You can now see that the datasets have been loaded and the application is ready to process the results. There are three options to process the results, with option 3 providing a numeric and text example. Option 1 is to process the list blocking dataset. To do this, from the Add-ins tab, select Passing Data Segmentation and Process Dataset. Select the List Parameters, How Many Segments option. Enter the number of segments required, in our example, 5. Select the header row, if text is located in cell A1. And select the Process button. A message will be displayed, indicating the list segmentation is complete. Select OK to continue, then select the Cancel button. The output is placed into the List Blocking Worksheet. The List Blocking Worksheet shows the report result of each list segment by start and end number. The output list will be overwritten following each new process. Option 2 is to process the Range Blocking Dataset. To do this, from the Add-ins tab, select Passing Data Segmentation and Process Dataset. Select the Report Segment, How Many Segments option. Enter the number of list segments required, in our example, 3. Select the Process button. A message will be displayed indicating the range segmentation is complete, with the number of blocks, 3, and records in each block, 8. Select OK to continue, then select the Cancel button. The output is placed into the Range Results Worksheet. The Range Results Worksheet replicates the header row for each of the output lists. The output list will be overwritten following each new process. Option 3A is to process the range selection, inclusions and exclusions, using a numeric example. To do this, from the Add-ins tab, select Passing Data Segmentation and Process Dataset. Select the Report Segment Extract option. Enter the segment parameter range required in our numeric example from equals 2000101 and 2 equals 2000101. Select the Process button, then select the Cancel button. The output is placed into the Range Extract In and Range Extract Out worksheets. 
The range extract in worksheet shows records from 2000101 to 2000115 segment range parameter. With the range extract out worksheet showing the records outside the 2000101 to 2000115 segment parameter range. Again, the header row is replicated for each of the output worksheets. Option 3B is to process the range selection, inclusions and exclusions using a text example. Please note that the data set used for the range selection, inclusions and exclusions comes from the range blocking worksheet and processes from the first column. To do this, from the add-ins tab, Select Passing Data Segmentation and Process Data Set. Select the Report Segment Extract option. Enter the segment parameter range required, in our example, from Delta to Lima. Select the Process button, then select the Cancel button. The output is placed into the Range Extract In and Range Extract Out worksheets. The Range Extract In worksheet shows records from Delta to Lima inclusive with the range extract out worksheet showing the records outside Delta Lima which are Alpha, Beta, Charlie and Mike through to zero. Again the header row is replicated for each of the output worksheets. Once the data segmentation results are finalized to save the results to an external file select Exported Data Backup. This saves the file into the current application directory with the date and time stamp. Select OK to continue. In summary, the purpose is to split a data sequence and identify begin and end parameters of each in tabular form. To split the data set and identify the number of records and output all fields. It is a straightforward process to load data sets. The ease of processing by utilizing a custom menu and entry form, processing documentation in detail, and comparison to control changes. Possible scenarios include schedule batch run processes, report formatting by segmentation, allocate lists to distribute and process, and determine data set extract records. Thanks for watching. A comprehensive manual, test scripts, and trial programs are available from our website. This video is proudly presented to you by the team at passing.com.